Hey friends, in this video, I will be showing you items that I received in two separate Jomar vintage boxes. Um, it's advertised that it's 25 pieces. Um, sometimes they send me more and sometimes they send me a, the exact amount. So this is two boxes, so this video is gonna be long. During the course of the video, I may try on a few things. I may talk a little bit more in depth and you never know, I'm learning as I go. And so there will be times when I don't know the name of a brand but that's okay. That's why I'm on this vintage journey to learn a little bit more, find things that I can sell, and then also reminisce about the past. There's a lot of things from the 80s that like make me go, wow, I can't believe I used to wear that or I used to want that. <laughs> so maybe you'll feel the same way, very nostalgic and think about your past as well. Hopefully you enjoy this video, friends. <laughs> Technically, this is not an unboxing. I've taken everything out of the box because the boxes were huge and I had to bring them upstairs from my family room to come into my office where I do all of my filming. And as you can probably see, I can't really see, but I have like all these Ikea bags. So if you hear a lot of rustling, that's what I'm doing. I have some things laid on the table, so I'll just be pulling them off and showing you. I looked at a few things, but I'm really discovering a lot just talking to you so here we go okay so this dress right here the company is um i can't tell you what it is it's um <laughs> i don't even know it's like a foreign language um so i'll show you the label which is really cute and here is this is the back of the dress and it has this great embroidered flowers. It's like a heavy fabric. And I'm assuming this is the front, but then again, I don't know for sure because it does zipper down the front. There's that. I'm gonna back up and show you. And then again, it's embroidered. But this pattern in the front is really cool and it zips down. Okay, and it's a lady size 12. Okay, this, my girl, Nicole Miller, I like her stuff. This is seriously <laughs> an 80s, early 90s dress. Before I was into vintage selling, I sold a few of her items on Poshmark. So this is what this looks like here. I don't, even, I don't know the size, let me see. This is a 10 and it's got some serious shoulder pads and look at the pattern. Look at that wide sleeve and it buttons at the sleeve. So this is Nicole Miller. Okay, this is Ann Pinkerton. And it's a size eight, pretty, pretty skirt. Look how pretty that is. I really like florals and I like bright colors anyway. So this is so nice. A little close so you can see. Okay, and, and this is a side note. It has nothing to do with me selling, <laughs> I mean, showing you items. See how bright my light is? I don't have any lights on. This is natural light. I My window is in front of me and it has a, a sheer like curtain on the front. But other than that, I don't use any lights for my videos. Sometimes you may see if I'm doing a last minute video and I don't like the yellow hue that lights bring and I don't like to work in my photo studio for lighting so i try to you know have the best natural light but i just wanted to kind of throw that out there for people if you put your heavier window in front of you and then the light will come on okay so that's a, that tutorial today okay so here is this beautiful black dress everybody needs a black dress over the shoulder and then the arm comes through here my arm is not going to fit but so far and then it fits over the shoulder this pretty black dress and it is of Ralph Lauren. I have a lot of Ralph Lauren stuff. And it's just, for, I forget how far Ralph goes back. Size 12. And it has like a little ruffled kind of bottom. And it's sheer with a lining. It's really pretty. You probably can't even get the full effect, but it's really pretty. Let's see here. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> so this is 
Erica's Place, the name of this, M, it's a medium, and it's a jumpsuit. <laughs> Look at that pattern. I'm going to go back so you can see. This is a great it's pants. But this is great. This is this is actually something that's perfect for now. <laughs> this little tiny skirt, I wish. <laughs> it's Versace. It looks like a little tennis skirt. Look how tiny it is. What my daughter can probably fit this. This is a size 24. And it is Versace there. Okay. All right, so this is Alberto Macaulay, size 10. It's a really pretty skirt. Can you see that? It is very, it's sheer with a lining. It's lined in the inside, but it is really pretty. When I used to work in corporate, this is the kind of stuff that I used to wear with stockings. Did anybody ever wear stockings? Okay, these are suede pants. I don't know who the maker is, but they are a size six. Um, somebody cut out the maker tag, but they left the um, type of material and the size in there. But these are very nice suede pants. Look at that. They're, when I, they're actually in excellent condition. And I'm so behind on listing everything I really have to get up and working on my handmade for people who um, have been following along with me. Uh, so I really have to do get my vintage going. I sell two or three vintage items a week. So that means if I put everything into my Etsy store, then I'll make more sales. So I have to get on that. Um, this right here, I don't know the brand, the size or anything like that. For something like this, I would probably provide um, measurements. And it is really pretty. Um, I'm not, it, it looks like, um, it's like an Indian culture. It's nice beading detail on here. Beading on the sleeve. It's really nice. I think it's some linen. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Okay. This right here. Uh, I can't see the name. But well, then again, wait a minute, let's see. It's, oh, no. So, no name. Um, it's a size 18. And I don't know the maker. Let me see if I can. Nope, I can't even get my body in there. <laughs> so, this is a dress. I guess people would consider this like a, a housewife dress. That they're not dressed up but they're dressed nicely enough during the day. Kind of, it gives me a 50 vibe. It really has this great detail in there. Okay, this is, let's see, Betsy Johnson. How far does Betsy go back? Is this vintage? Okay, this is Betsy with a, it's a halter top there. So just envision it's way too small for me. And it's a top to me, but it might be a dress to someone else. <laughs> so that's pretty. So it's a Betsy Johnson size P petite. So yeah, it's only getting over my neck. That's 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 the visual for you right there. Okay, I totally <laughs> remember <laughs> these. And uh, my suggestion is to wear a tank top or you can just let it flow wherever, however it goes for you. Um, the name is cut out. Let me just see if I can find, I tried to find the name first before I show the item. Yeah, there's no name, so I have to figure this out, look for this. But it is a romper. So it's sheer. Um, I definitely suggest wearing a tank top underneath it. Okay, because it's like a knit pattern up top. And then it's shorts down the bottom. Does anybody remember wearing these? And the shorts have the same kind of knitted pattern. But back here, here you go. 
so it is definitely um, a see-through type of deal okay so if anybody knows who the maker of this leave it in the comments okay and I will leave my um, Etsy vintage store and also my Jomar affiliate link if you use it you get 10% off your purchase okay so let's see if I can find the name uh, this room this is like a working nine to five or working girl in Melanie Griffith I don't know if you guys saw that type this type of dress here What's that? yeah I like to stand up to do these videos because it's hard to sit down and really kind of show like how long everything is in the detail and all. And that didn't have a, a brand name or anything, so I'm going to have to research that. Same thing with this cute little skirt, though. It doesn't have anything, but I'm going to show you this right here. A cute little skirt. I think maybe when I was 10, I could wear this size. But again, I like florals and I like bright colors. It is pleated and flared at the same time. I just don't want to take up too much time in the video trying to like find it if I don't find it right away. Okay, so right, th this right here is giving me some serious 60s vibe, you know, um, the Kennedy vibe here. This doesn't have any information either, but it is a lace and it looks like it is a, it could go over a slip or something like that. So I'm going to get close and show you the lace detail. It is totally sheer, see-through. Zippers down the back. Here's the bottom. And try to go back as far as I can. That's another reason why I do videos in my office because I have the space to kind of walk. And I have a runway. <laughs> Okay, these were cut off, but I am definitely can sell them. They are guest jeans, and they've been cut into shorts. Just the legs, just cut off, size 28. Here's this. So, I'm going to list these soon because it's still um, summer. There's a guest jeans. Did you used to wear guest jeans? My mother wouldn't buy me any name brand jeans. And Sarah's story, she actually was like, I'm not buying those name brand jeans. We were struggling. I I'll make you some. <laughs> and literally, she would get jeans. She sewed like all our clothes to a certain point. And finally, I was like, Mom, I need to get my own clothes. So at 14, I had to get a job because my mother was just, was just, oh my gosh, I couldn't deal with homemade clothes. <laughs> so my mother literally sewed my names on the back of my jeans. And then, you know, the, the name earrings, I don't know if anybody remembers those, the bamboo and your name across. And I said to my grandmother, for one of my birthdays i think i was 15 i wanted some name earrings and she went and went to someone who did like copper welding and everything and bought me these earrings that said less now back then i cried because it wasn't what my friends had but i appreciated them more later i think i still have one earring and when i look at them now because she's gone i'm truly thankful that she you know she didn't know what i was talking about and they were unique made specifically for me okay so this brand is All That Jazz. And it is, I don't know what's going on there. It crisscrosses in the back. So this is the front and it's a little pleated and it flares at the bottom with pleats all the way down. Pleats all the way down. And I don't know the size because it's probably underneath there. Some of these dresses are really just like amazing. Okay, this one right here, the brand is Aldine's. And I want to say that it was probably like a department store or something. This is definitely like a 50s vibe that I'm getting. I have to think about if I want to clean it. The belt actually needs to be cleaned, but the dress itself is really nice. So here is the pattern. You can tell by the sleeves. Look at that great detail with the buttons. And then I'm going to turn it around. It zips in the back. Then it comes with a belt there. Um, I'm going to put this down a little bit and see if that works a little bit better. A belt. And the belt needs to be washed. So I might soak it. The, the fabric is really um, 
gentle um you can tell that it is definitely older so i don't want to do anything to mess with the integrity like if i could sell it as is give it a nice steam it doesn't smell or anything like that but when it comes to vintage things trying to wash it and do too much to it is really going to like mess up your your fabric because also people aren't just wearing vintage items so if you've been hesitant about buying vintage items just sell your stuff like you're not the person who's buying so the person who's buying is probably a collector you know they probably have a room full of 1960s jackie o style dresses so if you find something that you think is quality and looks good just sell it don't get into like if it's in fashion because i'm not walking around wearing anything that i wore <laughs> when i was a teenager ever again okay so um, the belt doesn't have any loops so it's starting to hang down but it's really pretty like again it's very summery and very thin um fabric so back then i'm pretty sure they really had to wear slips okay this oh my gosh these are this these are so nice some stuff i just pulled they're size 40 and i don't know the company i'm trying to look before yes i don't see so we have these here and I don't know what we want to call them. Kulaks. We don't call them capris. Kulaks are a little bit wider. Um, but they're wool. And you have these at the bottom. Like, seriously. They're so nice. It's a mustard color, size 40. So I'm going to have to really do research. There's probably a tag in there. I just don't want to take up a whole lot of time. Tahari. I sold recent Tahari, like, um, items. And so, let me button this up a little bit. Tahari, just, just like current items, sell for me. But this is clearly an 80s type of thing. First of all, shoulder pads, really thick. Look at the sleeve. It's scrunched there. Look at that. Come on, you know that's 80s, 90s there. For the office. Got to love it. Here's the pattern, really pretty. Okay, this is Scarlet is the name of the brand. Um, it gives me 60s vibe, but it might not be that old. Okay, so here this is, I'm gonna back up. So as you can see, it is definitely a mini dress. Look at that great pattern. And the company again is Scarlet. And it doesn't, I can't see the size because the tag is kind of like faded. But once I have time to really look at these things, I'll be able to investigate this. Come on now, did you have one of these Laura Ashley dresses? You know you did. Come on now, is this bringing vibes back to you? What movie is this from? Is this like a Molly Ringwald type deal going on here? Look at that. Wow. This was the dress that we wore to the dance. Come on, you know it, look at it. You were shining all night long, you and your girlfriends with the big hair. This, look at this, look at this, the shoulders. Come on, Laura Ashley, she sells well for me. I've sold her um, a lot on Poshmark and I just sold a prairie dress that I just shipped out um, a couple days ago. Okay, now I'm heading into my bag. These are chic, remember that? They're cut off, um, they've been turned into shorts. This was one of the cheaper brands. I still didn't have them though. So my mother used to say, why do you want somebody's name on your bottom? And I'm like, because all my friends, Jockey, all my friends have them, mom, so I want my name on the bottom. I don't know what size these are. Okay, it says right there, medium. They're Jockey vintage swim trunks there. How cool. This is really pretty. It has like a stain on the sleeves and I think I'm just gonna treat it. And I might treat the whole dress. It's um, Smiley Vintage is the name of the company. And this is a really pretty floral dress. Gotta get close so you can see that detail. And there is like a spot on the sleeves, but I'm, I can get that out. I can clearly, it looks like somebody um, spilled their coffee. So look at the collar. And this is the front. And this is pretty interesting. It zips. So that's the back and then the front. 
happens. Wait, look. So the train is going in the back. You guys know I'm not going to edit. I said to Thomas, it doesn't fail. Anytime I do a video, the train comes. And he's like, I can't hear it anymore. Upstairs, you can hear it. And it's literally blocks away. It's not like it's right you <laughs> know, next to us. So that bothers me. But that's why I don't edit because it's it's too much work for me. There you go. So this is so pretty. Let me back up a little bit so you can get the effect. And there it is. This is really pretty. People can wear this now. It's really lovely. If I could fit it, it would be something that I would wear, you know, once Posh Party Live comes again. I might lose enough weight, but I would be too thin. I, I never want to be <laughs> that thin for me personally. Okay. This reminds me of things that I can make. This is like a 70s type crochet sweater. So look at the detail. It's a little bit too thin for me because this is more string type yarn and I don't have the patience for that, but I really like the detail. And this doesn't have a brand. So I'm piling stuff up. So if you hear a big crash, it's just because I'm piling, everything's probably gonna fall and we're just gonna roll with the video. This is a Sonia Raikiel from Paris, made in France. It says 100% polyester. I don't see a, a size right there, but here's the skirt, like real quick, so you can see the pattern there. How pretty. It's really pretty. And it is a skirt that flares down. It's really sheer and it's lined. Okay, so I'm going into my second bag. I don't know how many items I've done. <laughs> this jacket I really like. It has like damage and everything to it. But you know what? I just read, read an article um, in the Wall Street Journal. I don't know what it's called. I would suggest you go type it in and look for vintage. And there was an article dated um, yesterday was August the 14th, Friday, August 14th. No, sorry. Today is August, Friday, August 14th. <laughs> yesterday, August 13th. And I read this um, article from the Wall Street Journal talking about how vintage is really popular again, but it's also highlighted several sellers on Instagram. A lot of them don't even have um, Etsy or websites. They sell directly to DM and PayPal and Venmo and um, Cash App and things like that. They're vintage items and some people are really charging. One, one page that I went to, they were really yelling at this girl because she had like these holy t-shirts from like vintage um, band tees and things like that. And they were like, okay, so look at those jeans. They're crappy. All I have to do is do something to my jeans and I can sell them, you know. So I think that's a lot of jealousy, but you can really do well with vintage items. Vintage isn't about like now, the current items, new of tags, or if you get an item where it's something wrong with it, it's different for vintage because you expect it to be somewhere. You expect holes and things to be in there. And again, if you think from the mindset of the collector, they may be thinking, wow, I, my gosh, I've been looking for that item. And I say that to lead into this jacket, which is really nice. It doesn't have any information. I tried to look it up before I started the video, but I couldn't. So I'm going to just do it as is or just try to do some research based on description search if I can. But like, look at this jacket. It would have been one to try on, but it is actually small um, for me. But like, look at the detail there. And here, this this is the most fun, these buttons right here. So look at the detail. And it does have like wear. So here's the sleeve there. And there's the back. And it's okay, I'm still gonna list this. This is all about a vintage item and you just put in your description as you would any current item, any type of um, distress or stains or snags or anything. So that actually to the person who's looking for that may actually add to the value of the item, okay? Okay, these pants, I don't know the brand and I don't wanna dig for them right now, but they are super cool. First of all, I'm gonna get up close and show you how cool is that pattern. A side zipper right here. And then I'm gonna pull this out here so you can see the leg flares, how nice. And then I'm gonna back up for you. Look at that, how nice are these? So there's that. Okay, 
this I don't know the brand it is like Asian writing or something so I'm not sure it's CT or something like that but I really like this um, it's probably like an Asian inspired top the polka dots are really great here's that okay. this is I I sell a lot of vintage lingerie so if you've seen it and you're hesitant do it Heather Nicole and because people still wear this you know brides or anyone who's in that you know romantic mood or just wants to feel you know feminine it's really pretty it's in excellent condition okay this is like a dress from my time let me see if I can find um, dash about it has here you go <laughs> sundress it's from like my generation like an 80s type of deal look how first of all look how pretty look how pretty look at this pattern see like you know about that right and then this one has the built-in bra for you and it is a one piece but it does somebody actually ripped off the size so it's all about measurements with that but there that is okay let's see if i can find this is a escada okay i've sold a couple escada and i have a couple downstairs that i haven't listed yet such a great pattern look how fun that is top lightweight this is going to, I'm going to have to wash this because it's nothing but perfume coming off of this thing here. This is a 100% silk top. So I may have to just put it outside or something because it's silk and I don't want to do a lot to it. Again, vintage, you want to try to be as careful as possible. Okay. With um, this. Okay. So this is Habotai. I'm not really sure. It's from Dahlia. One hundred, another hundred percent silk top. Really pretty, lightweight. Of course, silk is <laughs> lightweight. And there's that. Look at it flowing. My fan is blowing, so it's showing you like how lightweight. If we get near the fan again, look at that. And that's that top. I know it's like so many great things. I'm trying to figure out what to show you. <laughs> I mean, I eventually show you everything. Okay, this is Mazette High Bulk 100% acrylic yarn. It's a size 40, great sweater. Let me show you that tag. Clearly a vintage tag there. And it is a V-neck pullover sweater. And honestly, you can, I, I don't know, consider it unisex or whatever, it really doesn't matter. There's that. Okay, these are fun. They're um, overalls. And before I show you, I just want to see the brand. Okay, so Arizona Jean Company. They've been around for a minute, right? I mean, probably about 30 years now. And I'm trying to get everything straight, straightened so I can show you. This is twisted. I'm just going to fix that. I thank you guys for indulging if you've gotten this far. Okay, so here is the overalls. But um, you know what overalls look like, right? So I'm just going to highlight that. Look at that star there. Side pocket. And I think the bottoms were cut off for nice distress. But here is the, that's the game changer right there. These stars flip it to the back. There's a star right in the butte area with a great pocket. But that's your overalls right there. Okay. This right here is linked together. I'm going to pull this apart so you can see what's going on. This is a, a bikini and it's sun streak and this is straight up 60s vibe right here. So here's the bottom. I don't know who's wearing this. <laughs> and that's sun streak. <laughs> so that's the bottom. How cool. And then here is the top. I mean, a net funicello. Am I aging myself? There. There you go. The 60s Gidget. Anybody know about that? Very small padded bra there, okay? And seriously, I told you I had a few Ralph Lauren, come on. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, Ralph Lauren sweater. And it's a turtleneck at that. There you go. Ralph, baby, too tiny for me. But it is the Ralph Lauren. Okay. And just for reference, it looks like it's a size medium. How cool is that sweater? It's got a little, some beading or something there. And this is Expo size eight. And this is the an off the shoulder dress here. Nice pattern. I'm trying not to knock anything over here from my office. I already ran into something back there. Little mini skirt, kind of 60 vibe. And this right here is I've never I've never found a St. John, but it came into my my box St. John Couture size 10 and here is skirt I'll get close really cute detail and um, yeah so there you go okay this right here is a Nike basketball pullover jacket I love it anytime I can model something. It's a new coming out of the, the comfort zone right there. Yeah, whole 90s vibe right there. Okay, so this is a Ralph Lauren jacket. See, polo, Ralph Lauren. When I pulled it out of the box, I was like, oh my gosh, my first thought was members only. Okay, this is surf style. End of the 80s, early 90s vibe. Okay, this here. Is a Gavinci wool men's blazer. Get close so you can see the pattern there in great condition. This is a little snug for me, but I'm going to make it work. Here is a I don't know what this is. I want to say it's kind of like a kimono type deal. It doesn't have a name. I mean, it fits me just right. Um, I think it was supposed to be some type of button detail. Here's the front. But look at the pattern, beautiful. Okay, this is from the Marble Company, you know, the cigarettes. It's the Marlboro Country Store. I know Marlboro is in um, Marlboro. I don't smoke some, I think that's what it's called. In the, the end of Virginia, beginning of North Carolina. And so they probably sold these. I think this is my good friend, Woody Woodpecker. Dude, am I aging myself? You guys know who Woody Woodpecker is. But this is a great comfortable um, top here. Really nice. If it was my style, I would keep it because it really feels great. But I can't walk around with a big Woody Woodpecker on me. So earlier in the week, I modeled this Billabong uh, men's, I think it's a medium or a large, on my feed and in my stories. But this is a great jacket. It literally is in excellent, uh, excellent condition. The only thing is the fringe on the ties. That's it.
okay so this is a really great dress look at that I'm going to back up some but then I'm probably going to show you the dress by itself because you really can't see the detail but it does fit me it's great um I might have to wash it because it's very musky but check out these great colorful buttons here really nice pockets it fits me nice it's one, another one of these type of um, dresses that I probably would wear. The long sleeves will probably make me hot, but it's really in great condition. Okay, so I wanted to show you this dress without it being on me because you couldn't really appreciate the detail of it. So here is the sleeve pattern. Yeah, again, I'm probably going to wash this by hand. I do a soak technique. The buttons are great, but going back here, and then I'm going to lift it for you to see such, look at this. This is what I couldn't show you in when it was on me, but embroidered patterning. Such a pretty dress. I think this is one of my favorites so far. Okay, darlings, darlings, this is it. Look at this. Um, got my Diana Ross mood going on. Yes, nothing can stay. Keep me away. Ain't no. Woo. so look at this beautiful beautiful yes excuse my singing but i just went into my miss ross mood with this it's beautiful it's beautiful okay so one more time with this it's notori and it is one size fits all it has shoulder pads and of course it has the fur and this is the wide sleeve it probably it looks like it has like a little stain so I'm probably going to soak it or something I have to look at it do research spot treat or something like that but I just wanted to show you a little more in detail what it looks like there you go hey friends thank you for watching this Jomar vintage box unboxing kind of sorta if you like this video or any other content that I have please consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a thumbs up and setting a reminder for future videos. I have tons of content coming and I would love for you to come along for this journey with me.